gonna start next week and I have already been anxious for the last week and a half. I've had the butterflies. Um, we always assume that new teachers are the ones that are going through that, but it doesn't matter. I mean, I've already been teaching, this is my 12th year, and I still get the jitteriness, I still get the anxiousness, I still can't sleep the night before. Um, it's, it's very normal to, to still be nervous. So when it comes to classroom management and discipline, I like to make sure that my students know that this classroom is a welcoming environment, but at the same time that um, there's gonna be expectations and strategies that they have to follow. I always like having them something to do as they come in the room so that it gives me time to take attendance or if I have a parent that needs to talk to me, um, this isn't what I usually have them do. Um, that takes a little bit longer, but I figured this is something that they know what to do as soon as they come in. Alexandria, do you want to do me a favor, actually? Do you want to be my caboose? My caboose is a very important job. My caboose is the one that makes sure that she is at the end of the line, making sure that nobody gets lost between now and the time we get to class. So you need to make sure that everybody stays in line. So go ahead and take that job behind Adris, please. So my first day, I, I really don't waste any time. I, I think I need to let students know that we're back to business, you know, right away. So when I needed them to stand in that line, I had to show them, you know, this is your square, you need to stand here. So I had to show them, you know, where their square was and what I meant by putting their two feet in there and that kind of thing so that they exactly knew what my expectation was. This is how you're going to come in every morning when we get to class. And if you're too close to her, you can always leave a little room and that's perfectly okay. You can move up. So when students come in right away, I, I wanna set just the tone of what my expectations are immediately. So that's why I start with my rules. And the two rules that I emphasize the most on is I really like to teach students to, to be respectful. I think that's something that we need to, you know, students need to know from, you know, a, a young age. So I focused a lot on them using, you know, being respectful and using the words please and using the words thank you. Rule number three, and this is actually going to go into one of our school-wide rules, which is to respect others, respect yourself, and respect your school. And later I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about what it means to be respectful. Um, a big, very important word for me in this classroom is right here. Say please. If you are asking someone to let you borrow their eraser or their pencil or any material, you say, may I please borrow your pencil? May I please borrow your eraser? So the word please for me is very important because you are being respectful to that person. So that is part of my classroom rule. So routines and procedures are, are crucial. Um, basically the way that I do it for me, and I know it works differently for everybody, but for me it's I take whatever it is that I expect for them and I have to make sure that I model everything. So there's, I model it, we practice, we recorrect or pre-correct and then model again and continue to practice. Um, so there's routines and procedures for everything, even for the most minute thing. I can't assume that students already know how to do things. Another thing that you're going to uh, want to ask me for permission is to get a new pencil. Now, sometimes I understand the pencils do break, but guess what? We're still using not the big fat pencils, but we're using the medium sized pencils. These are very hard to break. But if it does break, you take your pencil and you lift it up in the air like this. You wait for me until I give you a direction and tell you, yes, you may grab a new pencil. Notice what I'm doing right now. I'm shaking my head, right? I'm nodding, I'm telling you, yes, you can grab a new pencil. If I give you permission to grab a new pencil, you quietly get out of your seat, you carefully walk to this corner of the room. In this corner of the room, we have two different containers. One container says, unsharpened. The other container says, 
sharpened. So if you need a new pencil, you just quickly, notice how I said quickly, you take the pencil that broke, you put it in there, and you quickly grab another pencil, and you get back to your seat. Now, your pencils do have your number on them. The reason why I did that this year is because I've had a lot of students who chew their pencils, who break their pencils, who destroy their pencils. Well, guess what? I will know who did that because it has your number on it. So if I see that number two is chewed on, who's number two? Albert. So I'll go up to Albert and say, Albert, are we being responsible with this pencil because it's all chewed up? Your pencils have your number for that reason. I need you to take one hand and lift up all of the books and the materials that you need except for the test blocker. So grab them from the whiteboard and lift it up and slide your hand in there. Then with your other hand, you're just going to grab that test blocker and you're going to pull the test blocker out. I know it's going to be hard for right now, but you are going to get so good at this that you're going to be like, what? I can't believe I couldn't do it the first day of school. Okay, I see a few people that have already done it. Once you've done it, just go ahead and put them on your table flat. I'm sorry, I'm still hearing people talking. Give me a thumb up if your test blocker is already on your desk. Perfect. So we're going to try that again. When I say go, you're going to get your test blocker ready. Go. Perfect. I love the way that uh, Albert has it up and his hands are still on his desk clasped together. So PBIS, with PBIS, you have to maintain the five to one ratio. I mean, it, it's very easy sometimes to want to call out the things that you're seeing that students are not doing. But you have to remember that students will model from the positives. And it's very obvious as soon as I say, oh, I really like the way that so-and-so is sitting up straight. You see all the little bodies, you know, straighten up. Positives work, and I notice that they work better than the negatives, but I try to remind myself I need to keep it positive so that everybody follows what I want to see, and I don't want them to copy what I don't want them to see. We're probably not going to finish it all. I'm just going to have you get started on it. Okay, Louis, go ahead and walk us in, please. Excuse me, thank you. I love the way you guys are coming in with a voice level zero, which is our expectation. So today was Friday of the first week and I had had a previous conversation with the librarian and I asked her, I said, you know, I, I know today is our day that we would normally come to the library. We're not gonna come in to check books, but I do want students to kind of know that we're gonna have routines and procedures in the library. And I know they've been here in the past, but they forget, so I wanted to go through the library expectations while we were there so that they had that expectation ready so that next week when we go, I don't spend so much time on the routines and the procedures. We spend more time on getting our books. And don't forget, I always have my phone with me, and my phone has the Dojo app, so I will be able to give points if I see that people are following that expectation, and I will be able to take away points if people are not following that expectation. Some teachers believe that we only teach the routines and procedures once and the kids are going to get it. We need to take the time to teach them now. And yes, it will take time, but it saves me time in the long run. If I can get them to learn those routines and procedures now, I'm not going to be spending such a long time to reteach. So if I can get it down now, later on it's just a very quick reminder and I can just get them back into shape. So in the long run, it is saving me time. Mm -hmm.